this season on the ultimate soul food cook-off. Now, let's meet our soul food cooks. Dominique Nero of The Generation, Deborah Mitchell of The Zella Sisters, Janet Brown of The Sweet and Sassy Cafe, Anjay Wilkerson of Rue Doris Catering, Kitty Asbury of Kit's Meow, Curtis Hopkins of Miss Jean Smokers, Bernice Tharp of The Sisters Act, Don Lewis of D-Ray's Soul Fillin' Kitchen. I got soul, and I'm super bad. For six weeks, our 15 cooks have faced off on the road for a $100,000 prize and a contract to publish their very own Ultimate Soul Food Cookbook. See some of the toughest competitors on the Soul Food Cook-Off circuit battle it out for the title of the Ultimate Soul Food Cook. I think I'm the Ultimate Soul Food Cook because they say that I am the Shet Shen Per Prisene, which means that bitch can cook in French. Bring it on. The first thing I would do with my money is to make sure my piece of shit husband don't get his greasy hands on my hundred thousand dollars because I am divorcing his ass. Of course, everybody thinks they can make the best down home soul food. My auntie, she's like the best, so it's a lot of pressure, but I think we're gonna give her a run for her money this year, you know what I mean? Cause I think, I, I seen her sweating a little bit earlier, so she's worried about us, you know what I mean? I think we stand a good chance of becoming the ultimate soul food champion. I entered the ultimate soul food cook-off because I wanna be part of something that I know it's gonna be big and it's gonna be great, so I just wanted to be a part of it. And face five judges with the pickiest palates from the world of food. I'm really expecting that the people who enter the contest and do the cook-off to um, bring their own creativity, but exemplify the very best of soul food. To me, soul food is that feeling that you get, that remembrance of your grandmother's kitchen. Today, your ultimate soul food meat challenge is... The ultimate soul food pork. Let's make these ribs, Jay. All ready. What are we doing? Man, we're going to do some country style ribs with the really? uh, orange and cognac glaze. Now, do you think I need to put my secret ingredient on this? No, oh, please roll. do. Oh, the river. Oh, what a time. Bitches kiss my ass. <laughs> kiss your what? Ass. Won't turn in. Who will have to leave their kitchen? I hate losing more than I love winning. Um, I've never been sent home from a competition before without taking something with me, and I don't think this is gonna be any different for me. Cook, you have five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up, time's up. Time's up, we're right. finished. That's it. Dominique, judges loved bits and pieces. Every word, every swag, they loved it. But you didn't put your soul in it. You're done. Hello everyone, I'm Adela Lamar, and this is the Ultimate Soul Food Cook-Off. Here to judge them are our celebrity judges, author, restaurateur, and winner of Oprah's best mac and cheese, Chef Delilah Winder. And it's gonna be intriguing for me to see how they pull that off and come with the best they've got because they're like bringing that up from their soul. From the Dr. Oz Show and author, Angela Woo! Chef Medeiros, AKA the Kitchen Diva. Restaurateur and author, the oh so charming, Chef David Burke. I think that my philosophy is my food has to have a wow factor somewhere. Food critic, she'll get ya. And author, Teresa Palantano. And Angela Flanoy, a category manager for a major, it's a secret, food manufacturer. The judges have deliberated. Kitty Asbury, you put your heart and soul into it, and that's why you're the winner of the ultimate soul food cook-off. Well, congratulations there to you, Miss Kitty. <laughs> Are you excited? <laughs> Here's your check for $100,000. And of course, you know you got that publishing contract to do your very own cookbook and the coveted plate plaque that we've been talking about. Congratulations. I got soul.
super bad. 